Good morning. This is Breakfast with Charlie State and Susanna Reid. Calls for us. Good morning. It's Friday the 24th of February. Also ahead this morning. And Carol's out and about today with the weather in the Blue Peter Garden. Thank you. Good morning. First, our main news this morning. Urgent Edith Bouvier uh, highlighting the, the desperate situation of people trying uh, to get out and the need for medical attention uh, to be brought into Syria. And this uh, meeting in Tunisia, what effect will these measures have on President Assad? And just after 8 o'clock, we'll be speaking to Glenis Stacey, chief executive of Ofqual, also speaking to a head teacher about exactly what those changes will mean. Now, a third of young people with special educational needs are not in any form about his experience of trying to find work in the next hour here on Breakfast. News in Darwin. Still causes... Sorry for you. Well, is it a story? Sort of. Yeah, it's a question. Would now be willing to fork out... Something to take back to a shop and a pair of shoes. <laughs> That's right, a pair of shoes. Apparently, lots of women carry... A spare pair of shoes yep. in their handbag. Well, that would require quite a big handbag, wouldn't it? Or a, well, a suitcase. A small pair of shoes. <laughs> most most women haven't got feet the size of yours. Should we have a it's tougher an issue we're going to be discussing? And that's because of what we talked about yesterday with RBS, that insurance scandal, that payment protection insurance scandal. And also, they've been restructuring their bank quite a lot, which has cost them quite a bit of money. So we're expecting a loss there. But I'll have that exact figure at seven mm. this seven morning. Seven o'clock. Steph, thank you. Or, or no. Charlie. Yeah, whichever. <laughs> How do we address Carol? That's the question. Part of the grieving process. But more and more councils are deciding to impose time limits. You think about it on breakfast this morning. Back to you in the studio. John, thank you very much. Yes, get in touch with us about this issue if you have feelings about it. 28 minutes past six. It's time now to get the news where you are. See you in a moment. Hello, good morning. This is Breakfast with Susanna Reid and Charlie State. On the programme this morning, we're taking a look at whether young people with special educational needs are slipping through the net. A new report by MPs says that they are. Luke Dicker has Asperger's syndrome and is struggling to find a job, and we're going to speak to him later on. Rupert Murdoch's hoping to cast a cloud over his rivals with a new Sunday edition of The Sun this weekend, but can it really rise from the ashes of the news of the world? We'll be talking to two experts about that a little later on. If you're a woman, uh, what title do you use and does it matter? Feminist groups in France think it does. We're going to find out why they've persuaded the government to give Mademoiselle a miss. And Melvin Bragg will be here talking about class mm. and how you define yourself and how, over the years, the classes have changed and moved around. Interesting. First, though, at 6.33, the uh, Labour... Asperger's syndrome, about his experiences in for his integrity and honesty. And you probably remember there were some other watches he found at the same time, but uh, apparently was, those ones were not worth anything. They were fakes. Oh, were they? So, uh, yeah, there you go. He did the right thing. So the Rolex, there were, it was a number of days, was it? Was it 60 days before he could claim yeah. it himself? But the rightful owner has come forward, although we don't know what the reward was. Jump to Saw's next week. Oh. You wouldn't okay. want to miss that, would you? No. <laughs> no, but there'll be someone there who looks like him. Indeed. <laughs> so that's all right. Amanda, thanks very much. 6.41. Um, if you're a woman, like me, you're often asked to choose between Miss, Ms or Mrs when filling out paperwork, while men, of course, just pick Mr. Although when someone actually speaks to you, they don't say, would you like to be called Miss, Mrs or Ms? They just say, is it Miss or Mrs? Oh, you're not given the third option. Well, it was. It's one of the issues, isn't it? Well, why are we asking this question? It's because feminist campaigners in France say it's all sexist and have persuaded the government to remove the word mademoiselle from four. But the situation here... It's absolutely pointless, to be honest. Although I think what Charlie's touching on is if, you, if, if all women mm -hmm. in, in the UK were now referred to as Mrs, mm -hmm. yeah. it has a connotation. Which do you think, I think mademoiselle will go? I think it will become absolutely obsolete. Yes. Do you? Yeah, absolutely. Interesting. Mm. Thank you very much. Thank Your you. thoughts welcome this morning. Uh, do you want to change things here as well? British businessman accused of trying to sell missile parts to Iran is due to be extradited to the US this morning. Still to come on breakfast this morning, dealing with the sensitive issue of grief. Should roadside... ...the solution. We'll tell you more later.
Yes, that accident happened uh, last year. John will be reporting more on that story. We'll be taking across those seven o'clock. Yes. Working its way through mm -hmm. resolving that issue and trying to move forward. OK, Peter, you're going to stick with me this morning to go through those numbers. So thanks for that for now and I'll be back with you shortly. And uh, I'll have that headline figure at seven for you. So Good. a couple of minutes time. Steph, thank you very much. Thanks. Think of elocution lessons and you may start to think about my fair lady with Eliza Doolittle trying to ditch her cockney twang pass herself off as duchess. But now primary school in Essex has decided to put speaking proper on the curriculum. The, the only way is SD. elocution. Edrog. Graham Satchel, Edge. BBC News, Essex. Heavy. You can't help but watch that piece and start doing the words, can you? And try and say them and see... And, oh, and yes. What Mobile. do you think? Is it a good idea? Is it a better way of teaching children to spell or is it getting rid of their lovely distinctive... This weekend we're speaking to marketing experts with rather different...